Welcome back on my channel. Today I want to talk again about electronics as a hobby. Because in my first electronics as a hobby video had quite some views and I want to follow up with an easy starter guide for all that of you out there who want to start with electronics. So what I've got here is the normal Arduino site and they have really good resources here on the site how you can start with almost everything. So um, they've got an own IDE that you can later install for yourself and also they've got the documentation. Um, the documentation is sorted by the different um, families of products they release. And for me, one of the easiest ones is here the Uno family, for example. And I just opened here the site for the Uno. So here's a get starting guide on the site. Um, there's also pinout and data sheet available so that you can see which pin does what and uh, how you can interact with the system. And also here are some tutorials that give you already um, configured um, projects. Like here, for example, if I want to let an LED blink, uh, you can here see what the circus is and uh, how you can do it and even how you can um, build it on a breadboard and uh, schematics and so on. And they do a really a great job explaining um, what you have to do to get this running and in the end you get here a code like this um, from which you can learn how everything is set up and what i now want to do is uh, so here's also the reference so if you uh, search for a spe specific function um, like here pin mode for example you can just look them up here um, in the documentation and um, that's for later good if you don't want to look every time um, on the model and just have to look up um, one of the commands and you almost already know what you are searching for then this is a good place to start and uh, for this blinking example what i want to show here so what I want to show you now is um, wokwe.com or wokwe.com. Um, that's a simulation site where you can simulate different boards with different controllers on it. So these are some of the um, yeah, boards that you can buy to start with this whole hobby. And they also got some um, plugins here uh, where you can later work with the whole um, project. Um, but I didn't have used that so far. For me, it was just here a nice thing um, to present to you. So if you, for example, uh, take the Arduino Uno and build a project from scratch, then you can really easily start here um, with, with a project. So. As you've already seen, I had here this um, uh, code for the project. And uh, the one thing is that this code uses already the built-in LED. So the Arduino Uno has got an LED on the board. And if I now uh, let the code run, you will see that this LED that the board has is blinking. So LED built-in is the port for the Arduino uh, that it knows this should be um, yeah, accessed by this output. And uh, when the LED built-in is uh, pulled high, then there is voltage on the port, the LED is on. Then the, here is a, a delay so that it waits for a second and, other, and then it pulls down so that there is no voltage on the LED and waits for a second and so on. And this is an infinite loop. So it will blink now the whole time until I stop the simulation. And what we can do now is we can uh, take one of the normal pins of the board. So if I just copy this here and say, for example, pin number um, two on the board. So this will be here, this one. Um, and I copy also here the, um, yeah, let's do it like this. Um, I don't need to copy everything because the delay we can reuse. So I put a uh, port two high and then I put port two, um, low. 
does like this. So now what we're doing is we are toggling the sports um, uh, high and low. And um, yeah, uh, that's, that's all we need. And now what we can do is um, we can build us a, a small circuit in hardware. So here we have the different uh, things we can place. And uh, we need a um, resistor. So um, the resistor is uh, so that uh, in a real circuit, you will need it so that it doesn't burn through um, the LED. So let's take uh, 470 and we uh, fix that one to power two. And uh, the other one uh, we must uh, put to ground here. And if I now start the simulation, you see that um, our small circuit that we have built um, is also blinking in parallel to the LED on the board. So in my opinion, this is really the smallest thing you can do with an Arduino and the, the hello world of the electronic projects. And from here on, uh, you can uh, experiment with your own uh, little circuits and uh, I had in my video for the hobby as a electronics as a hobby video I mentioned um, for example interrupts so um, if you uh, t for example take here um, this push button then you can uh, simulate uh, that example that I had in my first video um, so if you push the button, then perhaps the, the LED blinks um, three times a little bit faster or something. And you also have here some other nice um, uh, things like, for example, a, a really good project for the start is also um, how to access a seventh segment display. That's a fun thing to do. And uh, yeah, you can simulate quite some things here um, in this website and uh, test out everything without um, uh, spending any money on this. And uh, it's, in my opinion, a great way to start. So yeah, I hope you give it a try and I hope this motivates you to um, get into electronics. And the other thing which I mentioned at the beginning, um, look into the Arduino docs and the Arduino site. They explain really well um, a lot of things for beginners. So if you here go to documentation and getting started, um, there they um, have all the infos how you can start and uh, how you can um, then from here um, go on and do everything in hardware. So if you buy an Arduino for yourself, um, then you will need this um, IDE, and uh, but they explain everything very well on the site. But in my opinion, it's just sufficient to start in the simulation. Yes, yeah, thank you for watching and have fun with electronics. Bye.